What's up guys? I've got time for a super quick unboxing video today. We're back with Seattle Leather Research. Um, today I'm really excited to be opening up um, an iPad Pro vegetable tan leather case from Pad & Quill. Um, Pad & Quill is a company that I actually found just on a Google search. So, so basically what happened is I ordered an iPad Pro case from Saddleback Leather. Um, got it in the mail. It was absolutely gorgeous. The problem is it was for a 9.7 inch or a, apparently I, I didn't even know they made super small iPad Pros. So way too small for, um, for this guy. Um, so did a little bit of a Google search on other kind of full grain leather um, iPad cases because this, you know, I, I don't know that I'll buy um, super expensive, you know, awesome full grain leather um, iPhone case because, you know, these things are meant to be replaced every year or so. So that's just kind of a lot of wasted leather. So anyway, uh, ordered it from Pat and Quill and then I found out later on they're also super big in the um, YouTube kind of leather tutorial, leather cleaning, um, leather information, um, YouTube content creation game. So um, they have a ton of helpful vi videos. I definitely recommend checking out their channel um, and subscribing to them if you haven't already. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this guy open and take a look. All right, here we go. The receipt. So again, this is the, oh, it's a cool message. Very nice touch. You don't often see uh, messages on the inside of boxes like that. So this is a full grain leather vegetable tanned um, uh, iPad Pro case. Here's the uh, pad and quill, nice small kind of discreet logo up on the back here. Feels gorgeous and still has that porous feeling but um, a little bit uh, smoother, a little stiffer. Um, than the uh, chrome tan leather uh, iPad Pro case that I tested from from Saddleback. So let's take a look inside. Oh, this is gorgeous. Super nice. Love the look of this. Okay. Great touch. 25 year warranty. Full grain leathers, book foundry. Okay, I'll check this out shortly. Um, peel me. You know, I'm gonna leave that where it is right now until I've got two hands again. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a test. Let's see if the, <laughs> I actually ordered the right size. So, all right, that is perfect. There go. I had mixed feelings about the kind of elastic band, but um, I do think it's, uh, you know, it's definitely a nice to have. Just kind of keeps it a little bit more secure. Um, looks like nice uniform stitching. I wonder what this extra orange is for here. I'll check that out in a second. But um, perfect fit, so I got the right one. Leather is gorgeous. Kind of see that full grain sort of um, markings and blemishes and all this beautiful character um, that the animal um, would have accrued over, you know, over his lifetime. So looks great. I love it. Um, cool. It uh, definitely powers up. It can tell as soon as the leather is is opened up. It's got a nice um, pocket here. Let's see. Ah, so just to keep the, huh. Not entirely sure what that is for, but uh, I don't think it takes away from anything else on the design. I love it. Pretty simple design. Nice um, non-uniform grains on the inside of the case. Uniform stitching. 
I like the contrast and the color of the stitch and the um, choice for the inner and outer leathers. That's a, definitely a nice touch. Um, so I'm super happy with it. Definitely holding on to this one. I'm excited to uh, break it in. And you can see over here, this is what I was using, just the kind of um, case that the uh, Apple Store sells. Um, pretty thin by comparison, so a little bit sleeker, but obviously not nearly as uh, nice. I am kind of bummed to, to give up my little sticker collection I had going back here. Um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll definitely do an update video on this as it starts to break in and as I need to kind of condition and clean it. But overall, um, very, very happy with the um, type of leather that was used, the color, um, love the brandings and the character. Um, and you know, it's interesting here in the back how they've had to kind of correct for the, uh, the bending that this is gonna have to do. So that'll be interesting and, and may need a little bit more love as that starts to kind of wrinkle, but um, very happy with it. Good purchase. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. I'll, I'll link to the product in the description here, um, as usual, as well as the Pat and Quill YouTube channel. Um, thanks for watching.